Well, today, thousands of people are rallying across the country as part of Transgender Day of Visibility. It's in support of the rights of transgender people. That includes a group that peacefully protested in front of the Vigo County Courthouse, a protest against the passing of Senate Bill 480. News 10's Caleb Bryant was there. He has some of the protesters' responses. Many people protested in front of the Vigo County Courthouse in response to Bill 480. I spoke with some of them who shared their thoughts and feelings. Emotions were high in front of the Vigo County Courthouse. Xander Dunlap identifies as a trans person. He spearheaded this peaceful protest and disagrees with the legislator's decisions. It's really harming them not only mentally but physically as well. And I just want to help people be aware and realize what they're doing before it gets worse. To remind you that I am a person. I am a living, breathing individual. Finch Irvin was also at the protest. He has identified as a trans male since he was 13 years old. Irvin talks about how this bill has affected him. I'm scared. I'm scared for my existence and my rights, and I know that some people will think that's silly, but um, until you're in this situation, you don't really know how scary it is to have your rights questioned. As protesters like Dunlap and Irvin spoke on their experiences as being transgender in today's world, <laughs> the consensus was that they wanted their voices to be heard in the face of oppression. They're taking away not only from me, but many of my friends and my family and just people in my community. And it's just really harmful because it just can take away so much and it can even take away people's lives. My personal stance on it is if no one is going to fight for me, I'll fight for myself and for my rights and for our rights as a community as well. Dunlap and Irvin both said that they will keep moving forward no matter what's being decided on a state and national level. They hope that their community will do the same. Reporting in the newsroom, Kayla Bryant, News 10.